Hello, Merry Christmas. This is Grandma Dots, or Mom, whichever you want to call me. I'm doing a video. I'm doing a second one. I want to shorten it down a little bit, and hopefully you can see everything I'm doing. I'm making potato candy, Christmas 2012. The original recipe, some of you know, is from my great-grandmother, who had a bakery on Route 110 in Bradford, just before the Haver Line. It was actually the front part of her house. And since she was German, she would always make at Christmas time a particular candy called German potato candy. She would have that beautiful antique dish sitting on her countertop to the, the one that displayed all the breads and the pies and things that she made and people would buy. She'd have it on this pink antique dish, which I still have, and make potato candy. Put it on the plate, and anyone who went in would be able to have a piece. So I learned it from my mother, my grandmother, and I'm going to make it here just to give you an idea as a family of the steps that you go through. And I wanted to show you this relic. This is my great-grandmother's from the bakery. I still use it. Used it a lot with my grandmother up at camp. So, here we go. I have already prepared the potato candy batch. This is what it looks like. And what I do is I take a scoop out of there, which I'll do right now, and show you about how much I use for every roll. It starts like this, big spoonful, but I'm going to put my hands in the flour so that it doesn't stick to me. That's really important and probably something that's not mentioned in the recipe. I'm going in for a little bit more. Here we go. I'm going to add it to this. Hi, Luz. I'm going to get my flour on my hand again and continue until I feel that it's not going to stick in my hands. Okay, because you can see it. So I'm just rolling it between my palms. There's the lovely dogs of our life. Hey, and see what I have? I have sort of a rectangle, oval, pancake. Not too thick, but what I'm going to do before I put it on that board, I forgot, just flour the board a little, because you don't want it sticking, and I put the rest on top. Okay, so I'm going to take the roller. Oops, first, a little eggnog. Hey! And I'm going to roll from side to side first. The most I want to do is to make this longer so that I can get more pieces rolled up into a pinwheel. So, as you can see, I have to be a little bit slow so nothing sticks and tears. This is a very delicate little batch of, almost looks like flour when you start to handle it and roll it. It acts just like flour. So I have my first one rolled out. Now I go for peanut butter. This is a hard part because you don't want to tear that flour when you roll out. And I did. I might as well eat that piece, huh? So this is very hard. I'm going to leave that glop right there and try to spread it. You don't want to put too much peanut butter on because when you roll it, it will make a fine mess. You want it to look like a pinwheel. So as you do this recipe, you will find what works for you. You want a not too thin, but not too thick layer all over that piece I just made. Okay, I'm getting more peanut butter to finish it. I, yeah, nothing has broken on the inside yet. I'm almost there. Now the batch, I use the batch on the top of my spoon so that I can drop it and roll it. Okay. Oh my. It's a good thing we only do this once a year because it takes a lot of patience. And we all know how much patient Grandma Dots has. Okay, here we go. I'm going to push that up a little so I can get the rest of that peanut butter on the front 
tip of my knife. And then down we go again. I think it's perfect. Any, you know, thick spots, I like to take and smooth them out. Okay, that's done. Now what I do is I take the edge of my sharp knife and I pick up the edge. I know that's hard for you to see. I pick up the edge of my pancake like dough. I'm going to roll it over and then pull, keep pulling it toward me. See what I'm doing? I'm pulling this into a roll. You see that roll? Pretty cool, huh? It's almost there. Now what I do with this roll is I just roll it with my hands, put it back up maybe twice, three times, and look how long that roll has now gotten. That By doing that, you've extended the length of it, and you'll get another 10 pieces out of it. So I cut cutting them. I, I mean, I start cutting them like this. Little, they look like little clumpy pieces. But when I put them in the sugar, I put my finger right on top of that, and it flattens out, and you can see how beautiful the white and the peanut butter look when they're rolled up. So I flatten them like this, I'm going to turn them over. What we want is to have the sugar coating all on the outside of this. Very important part of having German potato cake. Here we go. I pat it down and I pat it down. Sometimes I'll just take the sugar and pour it over the top and then pat it down so that it stays, sticks to the roll. And what we have when we're done is a delicious piece of potato candy. Look at that. Then I put it, for right now, I'm going to put them in this plastic bowl and in between each layer. I don't put them on top of each other because they'll just melt into each other and be a mess. I put them in single layers and between each layer is wax paper. It's exactly what my grandmother and great-grandmother and my mother did. Wax paper. Always have to have wax paper around the house. Okay, that row's done, so i still got some left. I'm putting another layer of wax paper. And I think I go, oh, I got another piece. Go right on top there. Okay, so that's how we do it. I put them in there, and I put a top on until I'm ready to get Christmas presents out to people and put it in the mail. I'll put, take it from that. Uh, plastic bin and put it in little boxes of tins and I'll be all done. Happy, happy, merry Christmas to all of you and in 2013, just around the corner, I want you all to be happy and safe and well. I love you all. Bye-bye.